Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Kai Katsunate, and I am here to present our research paper titled Revisiting Latent Space of GAN Inversion for Robust Real Image Editing. This work is a collaborative effort between researchers from the University of Tokyo and Microsoft Research Asia, including my esteemed colleagues, Takumi Bao, Bailu, and Hideki Nakayama. In this presentation, We've uh, been deriving into exciting aspects of generative alabaster networks or GANs, especially focusing on the latent space used for GAN inversion and its implications for real image editing. Our research is centered on pivotal challenge in the field, straight off between the construction quality and editing quality in GAN inversion. We've embarked on the journey to explore how we can enhance this aspect. A step that holds immense potential for various applications in digital arts, animation, even in virtual reality. Throughout this presentation, I'll guide you, guide you through our solution for the challenge in GAN inversion. We believe that our findings contribute significantly to advancing state of art in GAN inversion editing paving the, the way for more robust and uh, versatile applications. Let's begin by understanding the core of the problem and why it, it, it's crucial in the 2A digital art landscapes. Yeah, inversion aims to invert the given images back into the right end space of the pedaling GAN models so that the image can be faithfully reconstructed from the inverted code by the generator. Can inversion makes the controllable directions found in latent spaces of the existing trained GANs applicable to editing real images by varying the latent code along specific directions, uh, techniques of interpretation of latent space and editing are referred to as latent image editing. I first analyzed the latent space, uh, starting on latent spaces. Stadigan is a popular backbone architecture for a generator which takes an intermediate latent code through adaptive instance normalization at each convolutional layer of the generator. Two major latent spaces is in Stadigan's uh, Z and W. Latent code in Z are uh, sampled from hyperscale prior and uh, transformed to W space via mapping networks which consists of an eight layer multi-layer perceptron. W is copied several times and sent to different layers of the generator. Thus, we can use different W for different layers. In the same way, I can also use different Z for different layers. By extending Z and W space, we can obtain Z plus and W plus spaces. Since W plus is, w is more complex and does not have a hypersphere constraint, major gain inversion method use W plus spaces. Also, W plus can reconstruct target images basically since the space is unconstrained. The edited images are sometimes collapsed. Unlike W plus space, G plus has editing, high editing quality and low reconstruction quality. I mean that G plus can avoid image collapse after image editing to improve game inversion we consider how to achieve high reconstruction quality while using G plus for high editing quality. To achieve GAN inversion with high reconstruction quality and high editing quality, we replace the latent space of strong GAN inversion methods with G plus space. For example, FW plus space optimizes the latent code W and intermediate future map F. This method yields outstanding reconstruction performance with the aid of the use of future space F. We can make FC plus space by replacing FW plus of the method with G plus. Pivotal tuning inversion is another popular GAN inversion framework, which has a two-stage algorithm. It first optimizes latent code W and then fine-tunes the generator. Our extension of PTI optimizes latent code G plus and fine tunes the generator. The empirical evaluation demonstrates that our results are on par with uh, seminal GAN inversion methods in terms of the construction quality. The left figure shows three best methods and our extensions. 
we cannot distinguish between the results of both methods and our methods. The table shows the two distance and the two similarity between target and the inverted images evaluated on several HQ tested. In the quantitative results, our approach is not inferior to FW plus space. The combination of quantitative metrics and visual examples provides the effectiveness of our approaches in achieving high fidelity image reconstructions, a critical aspect in the realm of GAN inversion. Now let's shift our focus to another crucial aspect of our research. The editing quality achieved through the FG plus space while the construction quality uh, is important. True potential of GAN inversion lies in its ability to edit images in a realistic and flexible manner. Our findings in this area are particularly exciting, showcasing in the transformative impact of our methodology. Editing quality indicates the visual quality and reality of images after performing editing operation in the latent space. Namely, our method should perform latent image editing without losing visual plausibility. The left figure shows uh, edited images by our method. We inverted three target images and edited them. We can see that our approach performs on several domains and a wide range of image attributes. The light top figure compares FW plus and our FG plus. Also, the edited images by FW plus cause image collapse. Our FG plus preserves image quality after editing. Right bottom figure shows the uh, editing experiment with 3D GANs. We use uh, HFGI 3D, which is a GAN inversion method for EG 3D. We replace uh, FW plus faces in the HFGI 3D with uh, G plus. Our HFGI 3D with G plus can preserve visual quality after performing latent editing operation. In this study, we achieved an inversion with high reconstruction quality and high editing quality by revisiting the target generated space and demonstrates the superiority of our inversion on 2D and 3D GANs. However, most work in latent image editing focuses W or W plus spaces, and these latent spaces are more disentangled than G plus. Hence, our approach lacks uh, controllability of images and W+. We can improve it by using local or nonlinear approaches for latent image editing. I'd like to conclude the talk. We address robust real image editing by introducing latent space G+, into GAN inversion. We succeeded in improving seminar GAN inversion frameworks in terms of editing quality without sacrificing reconstruction quality. Our advancement is a long-standing challenge in the field, bridging the gap between high fidelity images, reconstruction, and flexible realistic editing. As we conclude this presentation, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all of you for your attention and engagement. It has been a privilege to share our research on revisiting right end space of GAN inversion for robust real image editing with such an esteemed audience. I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the invaluable contribution of my courses. This research represents a collaborative effort and its success is a testament to the dedication and expertise of our entire team. As we step into the future, we are excited about the potential applications and developments that our research could inspire. We believe that the advancements in GAN inversion, particularly with the introduction of G plus space, will open new horizons in the field of the image editing and beyond. Thank you once again for your time. Please drop by our poster in poster session two or reach out to us anytime.